deal with, oh my goodness, uh, the craziness happening here in D.C. Oh Talk about God. fever in the funk house. Uh, during the break, Bill Bellamy said that uh, these stories uh, keep coming in waves, just one after another after another. <laughs> Now we have the New York Times reporting uh, that FBI director, former FBI director James Comey uh, was asked by Trump to stop the investigation uh, into Mike Flynn. This took place on Valentine's Day. Such a sweetheart. Such a sweetheart. <laughs> and speaking of a sweetheart, uh, Donald Trump's favorite member of Congress, <laughs> California Congresswoman, also known as Auntie Maxine Waters. Congresswoman Waters, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. Hi, everybody. Well, yes, you, well, well, you made a comment where you said we got to get his ass. <laughs> Looks like he might be doing it to himself uh, by, by running his mouth. Yeah, well, I also said a long time ago he was going to lead us uh, right to impeachment. And, of course, I've always believed that he was involved in collusion. I mean, if you just look at the man's character and the way that he defined himself during the campaign, the way he treated people, the way he was taking a play right out of Putin's playbook. I don't know why people thought uh, that he was going to be able to keep up this kind of behavior as the president of the United States and to not catch up with him. So I've been on this path for quite some time. I introduced a resolution back in February to investigate uh, collusion. And so we see these events unfolding every day, and it's mounting up. Uh, to inevitable impeachment. And I just know that, you know, this country is reeling uh, from the daily unveiling of all of these potential scandals and information. I'm trying to find out now whether or not he's canceling this trip uh, that he was supposed to go on this to week. Saudi Arabia and Israel. Has he decided yet? Uh, first of all, no. I tell you what, also, uh, the White House sent out a notice on Monday uh, to several of us television anchors uh, to participate uh, in an off-the-record luncheon uh, with Trump on Thursday. Uh, I was unable to was unable to attend because I have to give this speech in Florida, uh, and I'm not sure that luncheon will even uh, happen because can you imagine Trump sitting around the table having lunch with about 15 uh, to 17 television anchors asking him about these two stories? That would be huge. No, 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 no. He can't stand that kind of heat. Um, as a matter of fact, Finally, we're getting some Republicans who are raising their voices. They're not going to be able to stand with him if, in fact, uh, these uh, memos that have been written by Comey are revealed. When they're revealed, we will move more toward determining whether or not he's tried to. There is an obstruction of justice. And so, I mean, we're on the road. Either he's going to retire, resign, or whatever you call it, <laughs> or be impeached. <laughs> Congresswoman, yeah. you, you also, of course, have the issue uh, of Trump revealing sensitive information uh, to Russia that apparently came from Israel. Uh, and then, of course, what, what really jumps out at me is when you have uh, McMaster, of course, the national security advisor, who said that Trump was not briefed on the source of the information. Uh, is he not the president? Well, <laughs> let's just say this. They don't really know how to manage uh, what they have achieved in terms of getting the White House. This mismanagement is laughable. It's like Keystone Cops over there. Um, I'm not surprised that he had not been briefed. He seems to walk into situations he doesn't know the history of, he doesn't know the individuals, and he just, you know, goes off the cuff and starts to talk, say whatever he wants to do, bluff people, you know, lie. Uh, this is what he's been accustomed to doing in business. That's why he's rich. He's cheated and everybody and lied to everybody. And so it's not working. It's catching up with him. I'm dying uh, to hear what Comey is going to say in his public testimony about the meetings, not just one, that he's had with Trump and exactly what is he said. And, and that's again, what he wants. He wants to come out in public and, and give his testimony to the world, not just something behind closed doors with a committee, right? Absolutely, and everybody wants him to, most people that is, <laughs> want, want to hear from him, want to hear what he's got to say, and he's been very clear. Now, you know, what I don't understand, what I do understand, it because I just alluded to it, they didn't know what they were getting into. Can you imagine Michael Flynn feeling so comfortable that he could be talking to the Russians about sanctions? He was head of the DIA at one time. Didn't he know that he was being listened to? 
I mean, we all know that. Uh, <laughs> then you have Trump, who thinks that he can call in an FBI director who's known for documenting, who's known for doing memos, who's known for being able to cover his back, uh, and think he can get away with saying to the vice president uh, and to the attorney general, y'all leave the room while I talk to him. Well, come on. I mean, all this stuff comes out in the wash. And so here we are, uh, having watched all of this play out. And, of course, you know, most people are saying, where is this going to lead us? Where are we going from here? There's still those who are in denial uh, who are saying, well, we don't know. We don't know what was really said. We don't know where this is going to lead. Well, I can tell you where it's going to lead. Not because I've seen the memos, but because I've lived long enough to know a uh, bad character when I see it and what it results in. And Congressman Harris Cuomo, one thing that people have not talked about, in the same meeting with, uh, uh, with Comey, Comey writes in his memo that Trump asked him to jail journalists to curtail leaking. Dude, it's your administration yes. that's leaking. <laughs> it's your faucet. Yes, and thank God for the media. If it wasn't for the media and these so-called leaks, we wouldn't know very much about what has been said and what has been done. All of the unveiling really comes because the media has been digging and they found out about, um, about Flynn and the telephone call. They're the ones that just unveiled that Israel was the ally uh, that gave us the information that now we have put at risk uh, because of the exposure. I mean, on and on and on. When you take a look, the Congress has not done its job. Uh, we have been derelict in our duty, and mostly because the Republicans are in charge, and we don't have charge of the committee. But, but we're supposed to be a check and balance democracy, no where the three balance. agencies of government are balanced by each other and checked by each other. We haven't done our job. Well, according to, according to this uh, post by Ed O'Keefe on Twitter, CBS This Morning asked 20 GOP lawmakers to be a guest this morning to discuss Trump. All said no. They're running well, for cover. Their constituents are going to be saying no in their elections if they continue this. All right. How quickly do you think an, uh, the committee could be put together for an investigation to officially begin? I don't know. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that um, those Republicans who are frightened, who are afraid, mm -hmm. are going to have to do something. And I think that something may be uh, counsel rather than maybe a commission at this point. And I don't know when that could be, but I suspect the next couple of weeks are going to tell us a lot about whether or not these Republicans are going to get the gut uh, to do what they have to do and move toward tying down these investigations so that we can connect the dots in ways that are irrefutable. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37-year-old black man was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police. His hands are in the air and you still get shot by the cops. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not gonna let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. And we will keep focus on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at seven on TV One.